it's the benefits of a floating floor is not having any solid fixing going through so if you imagine someone walking along the floor that's going to vibrate uh, any solid surfaces that are joined together so having that clear break uh, in the flooring layers is is ideal in stopping that sound from transferring through. Uh, with the upper layers of the floor uh, just floating on top so they're not directly fixed through so this could be say a chipboard um, that's sat on top of an acoustic underlay, in this case the Mute Map 2, uh, but you wouldn't fire any fixings or screws through there. Uh, in, instead, in this case, you'd uh, fix the, the tongue and groove of the board uh, with some, some adhesive. The top layer would be um, essentially become one piece, uh, so it's all adhered together, um, and that would just sit on top of another product. So. It could be some of the um, underscreed products with the screed just sat on top. Uh, some of the mute map products um, with a chipboard or a, an MDF on top. Um, or it could be um, some timbers to raise up the floor. So in this case, it'd be the South Adhesive Batten Strip with the, uh, the timber sat on top of that. Um, or likewise, the, we've got the Isolation Strip P8, uh, which would sit on top of the joists. Um, and then your subfloor would go directly on top of that, um, all of which would essentially make the, the floor above floating. So here we have a model of a, what would be a typical floating floor installation in a, in a timber joisted uh, system. Uh, so in between the joists you'd have uh, typically 100 to 150 mil of uh, mineral wool. Uh, in our case we use the 60 kg density. On top of the joists is the isolation strip P8 um, so what that does is it separates the subfloor from the actual structure of the building. Um, the subfloor could be your standard chipboard, uh, tongue and groove flooring, um, or as a product we use, uh, which is called VersaFloor, uh, which is a cement particle board. Um, and what that does is it, it's a lot denser than standard chipboard, and that helps to cut out a lot more of the airborne sound as well as reducing the uh, transmission of impact sound a bit as well. So the tongue and groove floor would just be sat on top of the isolation strip P8 um, and just with the, the grooves adhered together um, so no fixings directly through into the, into the actual joist. Uh, on top of this it could be a few different materials based on the final floor finish. You could go with the Mute Mat 3 which would give you an extra mass loaded vinyl layer uh, for more reduction in airborne sound. Uh, likewise, if you're laying um, particular flooring types or tile in a bathroom, uh, you could go with uh, one of the OSF products, um, which can take a, a, a wider range of floor finishes than the Mute Mat, um, and still give you a, a good reduction in that impact sound you're looking for as well. Floating floor is, is simply a way of installing the products more than the products themselves. Um, there's a number of our products that can be used in that setup. Typically installing a floating floor or a floating floor system will get you the absolute maximum uh, benefits from airborne and impact sound reduction. Um, so on a concrete floor, um, you can also float a floor on there. Um, so typically that would be through one of the uh, Meat Mat OSF or the USF ranges. Um, so the overscreed product, uh, that would sit on top of the concrete flooring um, and then you could lay um, your final floor finish directly on that, um, adhered to it. Um, so that would uh, still create the non-fixing uh, nature of the floating floor. Um, likewise, we've got the underscreed products, uh, in which case if you're laying a, a, a screed on top, that could go in between the, uh, the substrate and the screed on top, floating the entire screed level. And that would uh, provide the, the most benefits in impact reduction for concrete floors. So another floating floor product that we use is the, uh, the mute cradles. Uh, so what they're used for is to raise up a floor on a, a concrete floor, an existing timber floor, in order to give you a bit of a void underneath as well. So that can be useful for if you're running services, uh, say on a concrete floor you need pipework, electricals to go in there. Um, that can actually bring the floor up and float a, a timber framework above the existing floor level. Uh, these are particularly useful for uneven floors as well. Um, so we have packers in a range of thicknesses uh, which slot into those. Uh, so you can level the floor as you go as well. Um, so using them in each orientation, there's a few different height options with those as well.
Icoustic, creating quieter spaces together.